What's going on everybody? This is Cool Fury. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video, 100 with Cool Fury. So the reason I'm doing this video is because I got a request. Um, the last video I posted, I noticed there's a comment on there that says, do an update video on the Cuban link chain and bracelet. So here it is. Um, a person by the name of Space posted that comment. So shout out to Space and here goes the video, man. So I posted that video, the first video on this channel actually was about this Cuban link chain and bracelet. And that was about, um, I think it was April 19th. I posted that video. It's mid October now. So we're pretty much right at six months. So I'll go ahead and call this the six month update on the 18 karat gold plated Cuban link chain and bracelet that I got from Jewelry Kingdom One on Amazon. So this is the bracelet in here. It costs like 18 and change. This is the actual chain. It costs 26 and change, I think. So it's a 24 inch chain, 12 millimeter, eight inch bracelet, 12, mil 12 millimeter, excuse me. Um, 18 karat gold plated. So let's go ahead and pull it out. I'll show you the bracelet first and then the chain. So it came just like this. Go ahead and pull that out. This jewelry, like I wipe it off every now and then. I heard that with plated stuff, you're supposed to wipe it off every time you wear it, but I just wipe it off every now and then and I've never really cleaned it. And I do that on purpose because I want to see how this thing is going to hold up with just normal wear and tear. Um, yeah, you should clean your jewelry, but I don't think, I don't think most of us necessarily do that every time like we should. So I purposely choose not to really clean this because I want to see what's going to happen with it. I want to see if I'm going to destroy it so I can come back and tell you guys about it. So here's the, here's the bracelet. And as you can see, it still has its color. The plating is even. Usually when you see a Cuban link chain and bracelet, you'll see a uh, box clasp on it. But I actually got this one with the lobster clasp and to be honest with you, it's just fine. The clasp still holds tension and everything. So no issues there. Like I said, no issues with the plating. Plating is nice and even. It's nice and shiny. Has not turned my neck green. In the description, it says that the base metal for this thing is 316 um, surgical grade stainless steel with uh, the 18 karat gold plating over it. So flip this thing around on the other side. Plating is even. So that's the bracelet. We'll go ahead and look at the chain now. Um, give me a second so I can try to straighten this thing out somewhat. Yeah, so here we go. Same thing. Lobster clasp on that. Still holds tension. It's held up just fine. The plating throughout the chain is even. No spots where there's you know, like a lighter or a darker color. It's all even throughout. And it still looks good. Still looks good like it did uh, when I bought it. Give you a little bit of a close up view on it. And I want to try to give you a look in between the links. It's 
still looks good. Let's do another one, like another part of the chain, try to give you a look in between the links. This thing is actually held up okay, man. I don't do anything special to really try to protect it. I do keep it in the box that um, it came in, but sometimes if I wear this thing I'm tired and I come home sometimes I just you know throw it up here on the counter and just leave it there like I said I don't wipe it off every time I wear it like what's recommended with plated stuff and it's held up So that's the that's the six month update on the 18 karat gold plated Cuban link chain and bracelet. It's still gold. It still has its color. And if you want to purchase this item, I will leave a link in the description. So shout out to Space for asking for the update. Um, you know, a few months from now, I'll do another one. I guess like. Definitely when we get to a year, I'll do another video as well. So I can show you how this thing looks after a year. But um, that's pretty much it for this one, man. Shout out to everybody that's been checking the channel out, watching the videos. Um, share it, man. You know, if you feel like it, share it with somebody who might be interested. But... You know, this is a small channel. I say this all the time, man. And, you know, it's a small channel, but I'm thankful for the subscribers that I have. I'm thankful for the comments, for the likes and all that stuff, man. I really appreciate all that. So, with that said, man, um, if you feel like it, like I always say, check out my other channel while I drop my music. Um check out the other videos on this channel like comment all that good stuff if you feel like it man and that's gonna be it for this one man i'll catch y'all in the next video i'm out peace make no mistake about where i'm from hey Look, I'm from the mitten, sipping furnace in the kitchen. Bring a coat, bring a hat, just in case you wanna visit. Bring a bat, bring a gap, just in case you're feeling skittish. In a place called Flint, it's best not to be the witness. We live how we live, never looking for forgiveness. Pop said, go to work, that'll keep you out of prison. So I stay about the streets and try to focus on the business. Cause the kids who never listen, bodies get dumped in the ditches. A single slick remark can make the killer star tripping. Trade a couple mugs, trick a finger, star itching. Trunk skip popped in the bullet star wizard Pass your head to kill a kid, that's collateral for missing A child in the box is not an unfamiliar vision She dies with a bullet, shooter lives with his decision Sad way to prove the streets know of no religion It's evil on the mission